Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the show. Welcome to Bold Talk by Joe Podcast. Hopefully, everybody is doing great. I am going to be announcing that I'm going to be running for president in 2024. That's right. That is not true. I will not be running for president, but we are going to talk about the 2024 presidential election. Yes, I am back to my normal thing, and today we're going to talk some shit. Yes, I know there's going to be people out there that are going to be like, oh my God, everybody's talking about the presidential elections, and shut up, you're going to listen to me and you're going to like it. We're going to talk about it, and uh, I'm not going to talk for an hour. This is going to be a short episode, but I'm going to tell you how I feel so far. President Trump can no longer be allowed to run. There was a lot of things that this man did. There were some that were good, and there was a lot that were just wild, right? What we got out of Donald Trump was... Our economy was good. We got out that uh, there was a lot of corruption. There was a lot of corruption in the media, and especially, uh, you know, when they were going after him, right? And then he just had a big mouth. He wanted to talk shit to everybody. He was rude, you know, and it's surprising that somebody like that with that much pu- that much money, that much power, you know, is supposed to be, you know, a, a rich man, with uh, values and, uh, you know, the way he conducts himself and the way he speaks. And, I mean, if you might as well make me rich and I'll go out there and talk shit. You know what I mean? That's kind of what Donald Trump sounded like, just me ranting on a podcast. And instead of him taking the high road, he talked some shit and people loved it, right? Just like these shows that people go on these shows and they just talk shit and they just become really famous, Because people want the drama, right? And Donald Trump was like a reality TV show, right? It was like he was a president running the country on cable, right? On Netflix. It was a big show. That's what he was, right? And there was there was some stuff that he did right. There was some stuff that he obviously did wrong. Um, And now uh, his big mouth and everything that comes with it is now hunting him. Everybody and their mother is trying to sue Donald Trump. Everybody is trying to go after him. They don't want him to win. They don't want him to run. And all these people that are, uh, you know, Trumpers or whatever you want to call it, they are reinforced. They're ready to roll and they're ready to vote for him to win again. But... I don't think uh, it is good for our country to have Donald Trump run again. Donald Trump did uh, did have uh, did provide with a lot of divide in this country. Uh, that is true. You know, when he was running, there was a lot of divide in this country. A lot of a lot more than what we've seen before, right? And it's sad, right? It's sad, and uh, you know, I don't want to see that again. I don't want to see that again. And uh, you know, he. He played a good part, right? He played a good show, but I don't think he is the right candidate anymore, right? Especially with all this stuff that's going on. I mean, it is wild. His life is usually just stayed a rich millionaire in in New York, and he would have been fine. Now he's got all kinds of shit going on and raids and this and that and, you know, tested, you know, tested people testifying on him and all kinds of shit. I mean, damn, why would you want to become the president of the United States of America? You're rich. Anyways. Then you got President Joe Biden. President Joe Biden is definitely unfit to run this country. President Joe Biden doesn't even know what the hell he's saying half the time. 
That man doesn't even know which way is which. And every time he goes up to the podium, he's confused on where he has to go or what he has to say. Um, you know, he's just way too old for this job. We need somebody fresh, somebody that has energy, somebody that has a different view, right? And no, I am not speaking of, you know, we need Chris Christie up there. We definitely don't want that freaking guy up there. That guy is worthless. We need somebody new, somebody with a new vision in life for this country, right? And I believe that, uh, you know, one of the independents is, uh, is going to do a good job, right? I believe that he will bring our country back together and we'll come up with, we'll come up with different ideas to fix this country for, for all of us, right? And I believe that um, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is the right guy for the job, right? Will he win? Who knows? Because you know the you know their their history of the Kennedys is not that good. Something always happens, right? So I mean, this guy, the president, wouldn't even give him protection, right? Which is the saddest thing uh, to see, right? That a Standing president wouldn't give, uh, wouldn't give him uh, protection, right? When he's going around and talking in his rallies, and he wouldn't give him Secret Service protection, which is really sad that uh, it happened like that. But you know, hopefully, nothing happens to this man. Um, I've been following him uh, for a while now, and I really like the things that he says. You know, I believe that he cares for people, and that's one of the things that he. He's not perfect. I'm not going to say he's perfect, but man, if there's somebody out there that cares, that's shown his whole life, that cares about people in the world and uh, everything around him, it's that man, right? That's the one thing that I get out of him is that he actually cares for people. And you need that kind of quality, right? These other guys care more about their business, more about their corruption, more about their trickery than they do the American people. And if you can disagree with me all day and you're like, I'm not what I'm not listening to this freaking guy, this stupid show, Joe Trump, you know, whatever is it that you're going to say, you're going to turn this show off. I don't give a shit. I'm just telling you that the other presidents only care about they're shit. They only care about, you know, doing trickery, making money, doing all kinds of crooked deals, doing all kinds of weird shit, right? We need somebody that is not focused just about in how much money we're going to make. Where are we going to send these factories? What are we going to do with this? We need somebody that gives a shit. That is what we need. That is what you should be looking at as an American. We have learned so much already. And if you haven't learned in those in these last two presidents that we had, then you're blind. We have to pick the person that is going to give a shit about us. That is who we have to pick, right? Yes, you know, does he have, you know, some other ideas and some some stuff that some people not, might, might not agree with? Okay, I get that. But every president, everybody running for president, all these politicians, there's going to be tons of politicians that you might not agree with everything 100%. But the one thing that you're going to get out of Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is that he cares. And that's what we need. We need somebody that cares more than building a factory in the middle of the desert, right? We need somebody that gives a shit. We need somebody that cares instead of trying to cover up for his son's shit. We need somebody that cares instead of having... Donald Trump trying to do all kinds of shit and say everything's fake news and the election was robbed and all kinds of stuff. We all know in the elections there is always trickery. We know that. We need to stop living and, you know, being so naive to shit. We know since the beginning of this country that politicians are appointed because you scratch my back, I scratch yours. It is all about corruption and power. That's how it works. That's how it works. If you think that your Democrat president is not corrupt, you are out of the, your mind. This is what happens. We all know this.
right? Money talks. But we have one guy that his family has always been in politics. And uh, this guy's obviously very smart. He's active, he's in shape, he cares, he's healthy, and he wants nothing but the best for us. And that is a hell of a start, right? That is a hell of a start. And uh, I told he, uh, I agree. And, you know, 2024, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is going to get my vote. You like it or not. Um, I believe that it is time to change the narrative. I believe that it's time to, uh, you know, stop voting for Democrats and Republicans. We need to vote something differently because this shit is not working. And we have seen it, right? You can't even live in your house anymore. You know, you have to spend $2,000 to live in a shack. You know, eggs are $10. Everything's expensive. Gas is $5. I mean, you can't do shit anymore, right? You can't make enough money anymore to keep up. So we need to, we need somebody that's going to come in and fix this shenanigans. And uh, I think that he is the right guy and he is super smart and has a lot of experience obviously uh he he was born into all this and uh i'm sure that uh he has a lot of guidance uh when it comes to this and he's level-headed uh and like i said he's not 105 years old where he's gonna forget shit and he's not gonna he's not a guy that's gonna go up there and insult the media and insult everybody and insult this reporter and insult all this like yeah that's that was funny and, and like, wow, that guy is really, Donald Trump is really going at these liars, blah, blah, blah. Like, okay. But then he just got out of hand. Then everything, that every, every speech or everything that he went up there to say, he just talked shit. I mean, I've been watching some of the stuff that he's saying uh, whenever he's going up there and talking in different different states. And he's just rambling around and talking shit about Joe Biden. And, you know, the biggest thing that he could have done is... He could have just been smarter. He could have just said, hey, you know, I'm not going to talk smack about this guy. I'm going to take the high road and I'm going to uh, fix this country because I believe that Joe Biden has uh, ruined this country and messed it up. And, you know, I am not going to sit here and bash him. I'm not going to bash the media anymore. I apologize if I did that before, but I'm going to take a different approach. And now I'm going to, uh, you know, just do what I'm supposed to do for the American people. If he would have just went that way. I am pretty sure that the guy would have had another chance. But instead, he kept talking shit. He goes on there and talks shit and tries to insult people. And it's like, do you really need that? Does this country really need to go back to that? We don't. You know, we don't. We don't really need to go back to that anymore. And, uh, you know, we don't really need Biden anymore. We don't really need to go back to that anymore. We We need an actual fresh start, right? We need somebody different. Somebody with different views and values and uh, somebody that can get us out of this hole, right? And it's not going to be your same dinosaur freaking politicians that are, you know, trying to run, right? The same people that they're running their states down to the ground. We need somebody that is uh, coming out of nowhere, somebody that's, uh, that's you know, that has a heritage or a family name that, uh, you know, that, that did good for the country, right? And, you know, obviously... John F. Kennedy wasn't, uh, you know, obviously it was tragic what happened to him, right? But I believe that some of the stuff that he was trying to accomplish was the same thing, was trying to get rid of corruption and do all kinds of stuff. And, yes, you're going to come out and say, that, oh, well, he was involved and, you know, whatever. We never got to see all of it because, obviously, the guy was killed, right? So, um, you know, we have uh, we have Robert F. Kennedy Jr., and he says a lot of good things, right? He, he says... Uh, he talks about all kinds of different things and how he plans on fixing some stuff. And he remains professional, no matter what anybody says about him, no matter how much shit gets talked about him, he remains professional and he's, he's on task, right? And his task is to win and become the president of the United States of America and also start by helping uh, this country. And I do believe that he will change stuff. I do. I just have a feeling about this man that he is going to come in here and just fix fix the stuff that needs to be fixed, right? And for some people, are like, it's not going to be that easy. You know, I, I believe that it can be. The point, the fact is that some of these guys don't come in to fix the stuff. They have a different agenda, right? So it makes it look harder than what it is. But I believe that if you're focused on fixing the little things, the easy things, right, that you can fix, 
and make a big change, you can. Is you just have to be focused on giving a shit for the American people. That's what you have to focus. And when your focus is not giving a shit about the American people, then you're going to focus on other shit, right? That's how it works. But if you're focused on us and you're focused on the well-being of this country and the people in it, then you're going to do a fucking great job. That's what I think. And I might, I might not be the smartest talker out there, or the smartest person in the world, but I keep, I pay attention to all the shit that happens. I dissect their bullshit freaking, their, you know, when they're out there talking, their rallies and all that. I, I watch the videos and I listen to the shit that comes out of their mouth. And you're like, you cannot run for president anymore. There is no way we can let these clowns run our country again. We need something new. Enough is enough. You know, we had our ride with Donald Trump. He took us on our wild ride. And then we had our ride with Joe Biden. He took us for another wild ride. And now we need stability. We need stability. There's all kinds of wars going on. There's all kinds of shenanigans going on in the world. You know, you have Hawaii burning down to the ground and then you have the war in Ukraine and instead of helping Hawaii, he sends chump change to Hawaii and sends billions to a different country. That is the problem that I see. I don't care if you're going to come out and tell me your, your politically correct bullshit answer that, well, that's an ally and, you know, we need the resources. Screw you and screw your allies. The first thing that you need to do is take care of the American people here, the people that have lost everything, the people that have lost loved ones, right? All these train derailments and all this shit that happens in this country, that's where the money should be focused on, right? That's where our money should be going to, is to fix this country. And it doesn't, right? And it looks silly when they send billions of dollars somewhere and they said oh we're gonna send them a one billion to hawaii and we're gonna send ukraine 50 because that makes sense of course you know when it's all about wars and you know and and uh, money and corruption of course you're gonna go that way right because sending money to hawaii is not beneficial for you that's how it works. It's not beneficial for the president to help Hawaii. It's more beneficial to help them in wars and help them help other countries, right, that they want to get involved with because there is something that Ukraine has, right? So I don't know. That's what I think. And like I said, I'm not the smartest one in the group. I'm not, you know, I'm not Mr. Politics and all this. But all I can tell you is, is by watching these people talk and just going, what the hell are we voting for? Why are we voting for these clowns? And watching, you know, Robert F. Kennedy, seeing how he conducts himself, how he talks on a podcast, on these shows, everywhere he goes, the man stays on task. And his one number one priority is the American people. That's what we need. I'm sorry that you had to hear that if you're a Democrat or if you're a Republican, if, you know, I am a, I am nothing. I am nothing. I am not a Republican. I am not a Democrat. I am the person that wants to vote for the correct person, the person that is willing to take care of us, the, the person that is willing to better the country. It doesn't matter, you know, not everybody's going to be perfect, like I said, but I want to pick the best choice. Right. But when you give us Donald Trump or Joe Biden, you're stuck and not voting for none. Because I don't think they're the right choice, no matter how you look at it. I think we need a fresh start. We need a reset. And uh, that's why Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is going to get my vote. Um, I like what he stands for. And, uh, you know, not only that, but he's his last name is my daughter's first name. It's a beautiful name. And, uh, you know, it's. I believe that this will create change, you know, honestly, like in all seriousness, uh, I know that I, I talk some shit, but in all seriousness, you know, it, it's not about if you're Republican, it's not about if you're Democrat, it's not about your, you know, Second Amendment rights, it's not about this right, it's not about that right, it's about the good of this country, right, it's about uh, having a president that cares about the people here, so your grandkids, so their grandkids, so your family can have a prosperous life in this country, right, this is what this is about. You know, the country has changed so much since, you know, since we since we got here, you know, and uh, 
you see the differences, right? It's just wild. The division, the fights, the, the craziness that happens in this country, you know, defund the police, defund this. I mean, it's wild that people are calling for this. The police brutalities, you know, there's just the stupidity that goes on in this country, right? And it's all about leadership, right? When you need to have the right leader uh, to run things, if you have a weak leader, if you don't have the right leader, then things are going to get out of control, right? And it's going to be like a purge. That's exactly what's going to be. And that's exactly what's happening, right? It's like the movie The Purge, just, you know, in a smaller scale. But, uh, you know, yeah, I mean, that's those are my thoughts for this episode. I know that uh, I went from uh, I went from UFOs to wild presidential stuff and talking some shit. But, I mean, it has to be said, you know, there's only so much I can hold back. Uh, there's only so much I can hold back until I finally had enough. And I see all these people trying to... You make a case for Trump and trying to make a case for Biden. Look, look, it doesn't matter if just let's just say that Donald Trump didn't do anything bad. Let's just say that everything that he's saying is right. Everything that he's saying is true and that he just cares about us and, you know, that they're trying to frame him. Let's just pretend that that's true. Right. I don't know if it's not or if it is or it's not. Let's just pretend that he's right. And they're just going after him because he's trying to go after the corrupt. Okay. It will always be a fight if that man is back in power. Always. There will always be a pushback. Whenever he's trying to do anything, there he will always find people that we're going to push, right? Or they're going to pull. There's always going to be a problem with him. There's always going to be a divide. There's always going to be issues because of all the damage that has that has been caused over the years, right? And you know, even if he's right and every maybe he's maybe he is, maybe he's not, but even if it was it was true, I mean, we don't need that anymore. We don't need that kind of stuff anymore. We need to move on, right? And let him fight his battle you know, on his own and out of the presidency, you know, away from this. And we need somebody that can really focus on the country, right? Because if Donald Trump wins, he's not going to be focused on the country. He's not going to be focused on us. He's going to be focused on battling everybody that's corrupt, um, battling everybody and all the judges that are going after him. And he's going to be focused on revenge, right? And he already has a bad taste in his mouth. Joe Biden already has a bad taste in his mouth. We already have a bad taste in our mouths about both of them. So we just need to move on, right? And it's time to set the differences aside. It doesn't matter if you voted a 100-year Democrat. It doesn't matter your family uh, has voted a 100 years Republican. It doesn't matter. It's time for you to look at the right candidate, the right person that really gives a shit about you. That is what we should be looking at, right? Because it is our future. If we keep going on with this shenanigans that these presidents are going back and forth, we are going to end up in a worse spot, right? In a shittier place than we were. And I believe that it's time for a change, right? I, I really do believe it. I've never been, uh, I've never been so in in a president before uh, as I am with Robert F. Kennedy Jr. I think that he... He honestly cares, you know, and, and that right there is enough for me, you know, that he is willing, he's, he's going to try and it's going to be willing to try to do what's right for us. Hopefully you like this episode. I'm not asking you to vote for him. I'm not telling you what you should do. I'm telling you that it's time for you to open your eyes and it's time for us, you know, to, to move on. It's time for us to actually vote correctly. That's what I'm saying It's there's more options than just those two guys. The damage has been done. We don't need any more. We need better. Until next time. Peace. Thanks for checking out Bold Talk by Joe Podcast. We want to thank all our listeners and supporters around the world. You can listen to the show on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and YouTube Podcasts. And don't forget to subscribe. You can follow us on Twitter at Bold Talk by Joe and on Instagram at Bold Talk by Joe.